hello people from the future welcome to normalize nerd so in this set of videos i am showing you how you can implement different machine learning algorithms in your project with scikit-learn and in this very particular video we are gonna look at the simplest model for regression which is the simple linear regression actually i have done a video about simple linear regression which explains the concept of this in great detail and if you want to grasp the concept then i would highly recommend you to check that video and otherwise you can continue with this one so the first thing i'm gonna do is to just go through the concept very quickly and after that we will be writing the code in python using scikit-learn library okay so uh, in linear regression what we do we suppose that our output variable which is the y here can be represented as a linear combination of weights w and inputs which is x plus a bias term okay so suppose we have a data here which denotes the prices of different houses corresponding to their areas okay so in the x-axis we have areas of houses and in the y-axis we have the prices so this is what our data looks like and we can say that okay there exists a line which can fit the data and we are going to find this line by using simple linear regression so what we can do here first we are gonna take a output variable which is y pred which is basically our model and which is a linear combination of weights w and inputs x and actually this inputs denotes the data points the areas of houses this is the input and this is our prices is our output plus a bias term okay uh, so what we do we then find the loss so what is the loss here well in simple linear regression in most of the cases we use the squared error loss function so what is that suppose uh, this is our predicted line and the, we calculate the distance between the ground truth well ground truths are actually the original data points so we find the difference between ground truths and our predicted values and then we square them actually i have forgot to write a square here so what we find we find the uh, difference between our predicted values and the ground truths and after that we square them and then we add for this all the data points so that is the summation for and after that we just multiply it with a constant factor of 1 by 2 m m represents the number of data points and this is our loss function and we minimize this loss function and by minimizing it we find the optimal weights actually we are interested to find the weights and the minimization is done by gradient descent again i am saying if you want to look into the concept deeply then please see the previous video that i have made about linear regression so that is the basic idea of linear regression we calculate the loss function the squared error loss, loss function and we apply gradient descent to find the optimal w so now we are going to jump into the code okay so first we need our data set before that i am going to import our libraries and i am then going to just read the data set from a .csv file so this is our data which contains five columns and the last column corresponds to the output variables that we have to predict and the three, four columns before that corresponds to our features and i will provide the source of this data in the description and then i am going to store all these features in the matrix called x and all the outputs in the vector y okay and now uh, let me just show you the x this is x and this is all the outputs in y and after that we have to scale our data to avoid any priority towards the higher numerical values or avoid any skewness and i have actually made a video about feature scaling so i will put the link of that video in this description and i'm not going to explain the concept of feature scaling in this video so this three lines actually does the feature scaling for us so the feature scaling is done and after that we have to split our data into training set and testing set because of course we have to train our data and then we have to check the accuracy in our test set okay 
so for doing that scikit-learn actually offers some beautiful modules which is called as model selection and from that module I am importing a class called train underscore test underscore split and after that you can just quickly define your test set and train set by uh, defining four variables x train x test y train and y test and this will be equal to this method and the parameters will be your x the matrix of features y your vector of outputs and the test size here I am taking the test size as 0.2 which basically means in our training set there will be 80% of this total data and in our test set there will be only 20% of data and I am taking random state as 0 ok so by running this two lines we have our x test x train y test and y train and now we are ready to implement our simple linear regression on this data okay so now we have to import some classes from some modules so from sk learn dot uh, module called linear model i am going to import a class called linear regression and then I have to define an um, object of this class. I am saying the object is as model and oops, some typo here. Okay, then I have to add the parenthesis and after that I have to fit our model on the training set only because obviously we need to train our model from the training set and we are going to test our model on the test set. Okay. So uh, now I have to go in, I'm going to fit the model and in the parenthesis I have to give two parameters one of which is x train and the other one is y train okay and by running these three codes we have actually trained our model and after that we have to predict the results of our test set and to do that we can simply define a variable called ypred and this will be model dot predict and in the parenthesis I have to pass the x test because we are going to predict on the x test okay let me just run it and if I just go into the variable section so uh, this is our predictions and now we are going to see our uh, ground truths also so this is actually our ground truth and you can by just looking at the result we can see that how closely they are this is the ground truth which is equal to 484.31 and the our prediction is 482.72 which is pretty close and you can see other values also but obviously by just looking at this we can't tell that our model really worked we have to apply some statistical rules to say that okay our model really worked and to do that I am again going to import some of the uh, some of the classes from our scikit-learn in this case I am going to import from uh, matrix va explain variance score well this will help us to calculate the variance score okay so I'm just uh, taking a variable as score and that will be equal to and in the parenthesis I have to add y test which is our ground truth and then predictions which is y pred and after just running these two lines we can go here and look 
so this is our prediction and please don't worry about the loss because that is what I did something with my previous version of this code so don't worry about that just focus on this one so you can see that the variance score is nearly this is very close to one and that is a good variance score so we can say that our model really did a good job on this data set okay so that was all for this video I have shown you how you can implement the simple linear regression in Python using scikit-learn within just 23 lines of code okay so that's pretty amazing and if you enjoyed the video then please like this video share this video comment in this video and please don't forget to subscribe normalize nerd thanks for watching